Hey, folks. Larry here and thought uh, we'd give this a shot today. Uh, we finally got the uh, software hooked up for the uh, live stream. So uh, we're going to give this a shot and see uh, if anybody connects. Uh, nobody knew that I was going to do this. I didn't even know I was going to do it. So I told Mr. Announcer, you know what, let's give it a shot and see if it's going to work. He did test it earlier after he uh, got the software in place and a few people he said were coming on. So here we go. Well, we're live and we're going to wait to see if anybody takes the bait. Pinbug guy is back on. So hopefully we'll get at least one nibble on here or something. So if not, we'll just hang on for a little bit because I did want to talk about some pins today. Uh, about the Moon Man pin by created by John Hubbard Jr. Hello there, James. What's up? And then I'd like to talk about Thought and Pin Revolution as well, about his lineup of pins. And I want to get y'all feedback on the the pins that I reviewed previously. So we got one online, that's Mr. James Cheney. Cheney, right? All right, so we got one on. So, like I said, this is just a random test. So, uh, it, uh, it it just been put out there with uh, uh, no uh, previous uh, announcements about it. So, James, so far you're the only one. Uh, we just got the download, uh, the uh, software downloaded on this. Uh, laptop uh that's why i haven't been on live stream for such a long long time how long has it been since uh, it's been at least a year and a half i think hmm. I, I couldn't find the tutorial for the version of the software that we were using everything that it said to do in the direction just wasn't there present but i finally found one that worked okay i don't know how you found it or how you can go by it but oh well who cares so all right james yeah on that pen I was you were mentioning, yeah, I'll have to look for it. It's in one of the drawers or pin cases. No big deal there. What else is going on here? Mm, I think that's about it. So, James, are you hearing me loud and clear? <laughs> All right, right on, brother. So. Oh, four people. Just four people. Well, how did they get on? Uh, do I have to let them in or something? It shows four people, five now. Well, you know, it does, they don't show up over here unless they type something in the oh, chat. Oh, they don't show up at all, so you don't know who they are. Right. Ah, oh, okay. Folks, if you're on, send me a message or something to let me know you're on so... Uh, we can get started and go from here. Like I said, this is a test because we haven't been on with live stream because uh, Mr. Announcer, hey, Beetle Man, Beetle Maniac, hey, rock and roll, baby. Whew, that's what I'm talking about, serious stuff there. All right, there's Frank Ovi, Frank. So anyway, so while everybody's on real quick, uh, Mr. Announcer just got the uh, software downloaded for the uh, live stream. He did test it earlier. It didn't work. So we thought we'd just go ahead and just try this out this evening. We're not doing nothing uh, to do our first live stream. We haven't done over a year, right? Yes. Yeah. It's been over a year, a good year since we haven't done this. So uh, what I want to talk to today is about some pins. And I want to get your honest feedback on these pins I'm gonna talk about. The first one is gonna be, I did the review on the Moon Man pin that was made by John Hubbard Jr. If y'all saw the review, tell me what you liked about that pin and tell me what you didn't like about that pin. I'm real curious. When I reviewed the pin, you know, uh, there wasn't anything on the pin that I disliked. It was really a, a good pin, 3D made pin. Uh, 
resin material, uh, had a broad nib in it. Uh, so it had a pull off cap. Uh, for me, I prefer a screw on cap, but you know, I don't know if they were able to make a screw on cap or just the uh, push on type. So uh, I did ask John about the clip and he said, uh, I, didn't he say he, I, he didn't look good or wouldn't look good on it or something? I forgot. But uh, anyway, so let me know your input if you have seen the Moon Man pen. It's really important. Okay, do you have uh, <clears throat> you have James's question showing? What is it? Is there a special way to clean out my Parker bag fillers? Uh, no, no special way. The Parker bag filler, those are kind of icky hardy, the hardest. Uh, you just have to keep flushing them out. Uh, is that the one with a push button on it on the sack? Yep, like that. You just keep on till you get it clear. It won't take much to clear it. You shouldn't. Yes, he says. Okay. Uh, the way I just do mine, I put mine under the faucet and let it let the water run and clean that feed out real good. And then I just put it in a, a little thing of water and I go ahead and fill it up and expel the water, get the water filled up and expel the water until you see it start clearing out. Once it gets a light color to clear, you're good to go. If you're going to use the same ink, you don't have to worry about it for a while. So, hello, Mr. Frank. It is a surprise for me, too. Wow, really? Wow. So. Uh, yes, now that uh, my phone finally connected, hello to James and Frank and Mr. Best Beatles fan and Extra Galactica and uh, Paul Herman. Wow. Hello to all. All right, Extra Galactica, here's one for you. For your convenience, I am monitored to respond to the name Robbie. <laughs> That's for Mr. Galactica. There you go. How you like that? All right. Got a little bit of something for everybody. Okay. So if anybody knows an easier way to clean out that pen, let James know. That's the way I've been doing it for years. Well, I guess because I've only used it a few times. So, But anyway, that's the way I do it. So, all right. So no feedback yet on the Moon Man pen that I reviewed. Hmm. I guess nobody on here saw it then. So how about the Fountain Pen Revolution pen that I reviewed? Anything on that? All right, then. We're just going to keep moving along. So much for those two pens, because that was my curiosity on those two pens, especially on the Moon Man. If you like it or didn't like it or wish it had something else different or less or what okay here we go let's see i like the moon man pen but haven't had one price is a little high for me okay because john wanted to know the good and bad about the pen uh you know it took a whole team of people to create that pen maybe that's why it's so high okay. oh uh not the moon man, moon walk. Oh, moon walk. Yes. I apologize. Sorry. The moon walk. Forget moon man. Mm. I am not in my game tonight. It's the moon walk pen. Walk, walk, you know, a man's first walk on the moon with a little step, first step. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Sorry mm. about that, folks. The moon walk. And you'll have to watch the chat. My phone just went out again. Well, here, get mine on and, uh, do you, ever, do you ever charge your phone, Mr. Announcer? You uh, stay yes. on it all day long, and I'm surprised. You're on yours far more than I but am. But mine stay charged, you see. So it's a big deal. You go into channel, I get on there. So uh, Mr. Announcer hardly ever charges his phone or his watches or anything like that. So, But he's on his phone 24-7. So anyway, it's the moonwalk pin. Moonwalk, moonwalk. All right, anybody see that one? Yay or nay? Uh, Beatles fan likes the look, but it's not in the budget. 
Okay, all right. So, you know, I need to write some of those down. Okay. Okay, first was likes the looks, so I can write all this down. And hello to Papa also. Not in the budget. Okay. And Frank said it was how much? Would Pro you? Price a little too high for me. Okay. Anybody else? Don't be bashful. Uh, looks nice, right? Uh, uh, Paul says not in the price range also. All right, not in the price range. All right, I'm writing all this down so I won't forget it. All right. No. All right. So, because uh, John spoke with me today and was asking uh, that question, uh, what did people think about it? Did they like it or not like it? What was their thoughts? And he wanted the honest truth about it. So that's what I need from you guys, the honest truth. And I'm getting it like, so we're, it's overpriced, you think? Okay. Now, a lot of work went in there to make this pen by 3D, and there was a lot of people involved. And I'm just talking because I don't know. Maybe that's why it's so costly. Do you think all the work that was involved to make this pen makes this pen worthy of, what, 349 I think it was? Somewhere like that, wasn't it? I, I, don't, I would have to look it up. I don't remember. Uh, and Paul, regarding what you said, yes, we have several pin friends who are in that same fixed income uh, section. Uh, I also did those uh, Fountain Pin Revolution uh, pins, uh, really sweet. Uh, at that they're under like seventy bucks. I they're seventy and under, and uh, that last one I just did, the one with the. Uh, white and maroon i believe really it's a shia how do you pronounce uh, it Tashi. no ta tashi tahoshi tahoshi i believe yeah really a sweet pen nib on that it's really sweet on it uh it really is uh i was really impressed with the pens so uh we're going to be having on this friday uh kevin some fountain pen revolution uh so that's going to be cool. He's coming aboard. So you guys need to make time to be on. So you can talk to Kevin. Um, some of the feedback I got on this pen, a lot of people like the pens. Some say the nibs aren't that good, blah, blah, blah. Uh, well, you know, if I got a pen that didn't write well or had problems with it, I'd get a hold of the maker like it would be get a hold of kevin say kevin this is what's going on so kevin can take care of the problem that's what i would do anyway so but we're all we're different so anybody else on the moonwalk pin uh several saying that it's not necessarily overpriced it's uh just a lot of money just a lot of money. And that was uh, 270 for the limited edition, 300, 140 for the, um, what was that called? 270 for the limited edition. And then uh, for the how much? Three? 340 for 40. the artist proof edition. Okay. That's the one where he signs the certificate. It, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. All right. In fact, here's that pin right here. Come think about it. The fountain pin revolution I was telling you about just a minute ago. That's it. Great pin, man. Just really a, a good looking pin. How many like the color? I love the color. This is the color I chose. I think it looks strack, man. Just really strack. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So, there you have it. 
There you have it. The strap pin. James likes the color. Yeah, beautiful color. And I believe that's a pin for like 70. Yeah. And Frank says it's a beauty. So anybody get any new pins lately? Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Beatles fan says it looks uh, great. Reminds me of Aurora. Pins. Oh, really? Cool. I like that. Huh. I'll be darned. Huh. I never thought of that. <laughs> huh. Of course, I don't think much about anything, you know. I've been so psychedelic goofy lately. I don't even know what sometimes what day it is. So all I know is I'm breathing. All I know is tomorrow morning I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to Starbucks. How do you like that? So check that out. Yeah. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Paul, if it's new to you, that'll work. Hmm. Okay. Mm. All right, then, if anybody else comes on, i like to know your honest opinion about the moon walk pin created by John Hubbard Jr. And your thoughts on the fountain pin revolution pins that I've reviewed these uh, past few days. Okay, uh, James got some vintage Parkers. Wow. A uh, couple of beautiful Monteverdes. Wow. And a Faber Castell loom. Wow. Wow, that's cool. He gets one of these. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I did uh, get uh, the. Uh, 149 with a broad nib with a rose gold trim. Love the pen. It just, I just like that broad nib on it. It's cool. Your phone just gave me the message that it's time for you to start winding down for bed. Wow, wow <laughs> man. 6P, man. Send me to go to bed. <laughs> Damn. Get, get ready for it. Wow. Call me in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hmm. So let's go to Mr. Beetleman for a minute. Then I'll go back to the other questions. Mr. Beetleman, are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, are you really ready, Mr. Beetleman? He got two Moomans, uh, limited edition P135 and an M800 in green. Okay, Mr. Moonman, we're going to skip the pins for a minute. We're going to go straight to the Beatles. Do you have a favorite Beatles song? Or one of your favorite Beatles songs from the first album. Let's say Meet the Beatles. Dun, 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 dun. I was also thinking about doing a YouTube, totally different, do one on music. What do y'all think about that? Everybody's going crazy. Okay. Wow! All right, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling ya. I'm really I'm feeling it. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm feeling it. Okay. Okay. Paul says he got a tiny eyedropper filler from the 1920s to 30s. Uh, focused more on a few new Esterbrook Renew nibs, and is waiting for a pin BBS 308. Okay. I I have a a few of the Esterbrook nibs as well uh it's been a while i have to look up the notes on it but uh uh i i use the mediums nibs on mine that I, mean, I like those the best frank's beetle song is nowhere man wrong frank with your bad self mm. The first one I remember hearing from them is I Want to Hold Your Hand. Yay! And I saw her standing there. Those two really rockers. Wow, yeah. And it was, it was my best friend's mother uh, played them in her car all the time that we went riding from them with, with them. She, 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 she had whatever the album that was from. All right. 
Mr. Yeah. Beatles fan, I saw her standing there, but also all you need is love, long and winding road, and come together. Over me. What? Right, now he's talking. So what do y'all think if I did a video on music? Would you rock on that? Are you talking are you thinking a, a, a single video or a whole nother channel? No, I'm thinking just on this channel, maybe. I don't know. What do y'all think? Should I create another channel for music and really go rock crazy? Just do it once in a while on this channel. And should I do a uh, YouTube on it or a live stream on it? I need some help here, my brothers. Come on now. Don't be bashful. Bum, bum, bum. God, we need to go rock out a little bit. <laughs> Frank says it could be fun. Mr. Beetle says it's a great idea. On this channel. Okay. So if people think it suck, I'll say it's you guys' fault. Either one would be fun. And actually, yeah, it would really be easier to do it on this one rather than having to set you up with a whole new profile. Hmm. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So, I don't know about you guys. Besides, you know, the Beatles are my number one. That's 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 it for me. Beatles, I mean, I love rock and roll totally, through and through. Awesome. But the biggest thing, I think, in my opinion, is that when – what really helped rock and roll in the U.S. is when the uh, British invasion came. That really kind of picked it all up and kind of reformed the whole music rock and roll industry, you know. So that was a big plus. But one of my favorites is Dion. Check out that song, The Lover's Wanderer. Man, that's a bad boy song. Dion just rocked the house with that bad boy. Yes. Frank says, what are you thinking? Favorite songs, uh, song reviews, or? Well, to be honest with you, Frank, Franco, just whatever pops in the head, if anything pops in the head at all, because mm -hmm. right now it's pretty brain dead. You need to be popped in the head. So, oh. Money, 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 money. Hello to, uh, I'm, I'm going to say Renee. Uh, uh, this person says once in a while on this channel would be fun. If it's going to be a frequent offering, then I would suggest another channel. Well, I was thinking either on live stream or on YouTube. And people, because it doesn't matter or what. So. Yeah, so just you could do either one. A uh, live stream might be interesting to do it every now and then. So. Yeah, you could do a live stream all, once in a while. Uh, Mr. Beatles asks, do you listen to any modern singers or bands? Yeah. No, I just can't. I, I just can't touch this. No, 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 you can't touch it. No, no, I just can't. I can't. It just, no, it just sucks to me. I just, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Nope. And the only, let's see, one of the few rappers that I like was, uh, what's his name? Can't touch this. Uh, no, 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 no. Was that? Hammer? Yeah, MC Hammer. MC Hammer, yeah, yeah. But no, I'm just strictly, you know, rock and roll all the way. So, you know. <laughs> Frank says he likes modern music the same as clipless pins. Oh, very good. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know about some of you guys, but my pins mm -hmm. have to have clips. I have some pins in there that are really, really nice pins, but they don't have no clip on it. So, you know. Not that I use them a lot because they don't have clips. It's that I have to put them in a pin case. And a lot of times, if I don't carry a pin case, I'll put one in my pocket so I don't have a clip so I can't take it with me. So. And uh, Beatles fan, yeah, he, uh, that was probably the most recent singer that he actually could tolerate listening to. Uh, yeah, not, none of the other styles and no other rap would fall under that category. Hello to Acrophobe. Acrophobe, almost like. Aquaman! Oh, hey, gang, like the James gang. All right. Are we really getting funky down today? Huh. All right. Once again, anything on the moonwalk pin, read thy lips. La la! Come on! Everybody, get on. Get grooving, people. Come on. You only live once. Heck. Y'all be like y'all dead, laying back. All strung out and shit. You know, you got to get with the review, man. That's all to it. Okay. 
Uh oh. Why'd you look at me like that, so creep? Uh, tell you later. Oh, because I said a bad word. Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, you said if I miss her announcer, give me the bad eye. Like, oh. I'll be dead by the morning, so who cares? So, anyway, so. Letting it loose like a goose. So, come on. Don't be afraid. Participate. Bom, 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 bom. Okay. So, here we are. All together. And there's like 16 people on. And it's just like, where am I? Okay. But anyway, okay, I will let John know. I'll give him some of the feedback on your thoughts. Uh, oh, I thought I put that on there, apparently. You not. did. It's on my thing, yeah. It's on Mr. Announcer's thing. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look and see. What, what time is it? Is it 6.30 on Friday? Here, let me see. Let me check it out real quick. Yeah, uh, I think here it is right here. It's, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, he doesn't have it on here. I thought he did. I probably didn't push that last button in the series. I thought I saw this on yesterday, in fact. Oh, well, thank you very much. Because Mr. Announcer, it's his fault, not mine. So we better put that on the. You know, 6.30 Friday, Kevin. Okay. 6.30. Thank you, Franco. Uh, Acrophobe, have you tried any new inks, anybody? Have I? Or anybody tried any new well, inks? Well, y'all. Y'all come. Yes, I'm going to tell you right. Oh, and Aquaman. Yes. Hello, hello, Missy. Missy, what's up? Missy, 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 Missy. What's up, girl? Okay, yeah. I, I've got to share this ink. It's absolutely stunning. This ink is absolutely done on my. Just absolutely. It's just freaking cool. It's called. Around the world in 80 days. And while we're on here, haven't you done the uh, pin boutique already? What was the name of the pin? No, have you done, done the pin boutique, the pin cases? Oh, no, no that one's on, okay. On I want to give, give you heads up right now. Okay. When you see the pin boutique, review on some pin cases which you're going to do when mr announcer uh let's see i can get that done tomorrow okay tomorrow what you want to do is get ready to email me at where mr announcer larry b0711 at gmail.com and what you want to be uh do is just put enter or whatever you want let me know because i am doing a giveaway from Pin Boutique, a $50 gift certificate. So that means you'll get an email from Pin Boutique once I know who the winner is and everything. And then you can go to the Pin Boutique store and purchase whatever you want up to $50. I already paid for the certificate. So if you want to add more to that, you can, you know, so 50 bucks. It's a, that's a nice little, uh, prize there okay thank you for posting that frank that is yes the correct email address and aquaphobe says i will be aquaman just for you Larry. oh aquaman my friend oh yes 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 so am i back in my groove people yay or nay in my back 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 and in case you're wondering yes this is him all day could you see me in a nursing home They'd probably throw me out of there, wouldn't they? Like, oh, like, are you on acid, dude? No, I'm not. I don't do that. But anyway, I'm really humble and sweet and innocent. Yeah, make me sick. Okay, so I'm grooving, baby. I'm grooving. I'm one of the last of the groovers. Can you dig it? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so. Don't forget, there's going to be a giveaway coming up when you see that uh, pin boutique review uh, I did on the pin cases. So you need to get in on it.
So anyway, so that, that was the Mont Blanc around the world in 80 days. That's a really nice one. And then uh, the Fountain Pen Revolution was a nice one. The Mardi Gras is a really nice ink as well. That's a new ink. Do you have a favorite out of those Birmingham samples? That oh, yeah. Polar Bear. Uh, Polar. Polar Bear Blue, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Polar Bear Blue. Oh, I love that. And the Polar Bear Ice as well. Just Polar Ice as well. Yeah, but Polar Bear Blue is just dynamite. Love their blue. They've got a lot of great inks at uh, Birmingham. Had just incredible inks. And one of my favorite, well, a couple of my, well, a lot of my favorites in noodlers are, of course, Bay State Blue. And, of course, the good old uh, widow maker. Beautiful ink. And uh, there's there's a lot more inks that I do like uh, as well. Um, of course, Dime Mine has a real nice ox blood that's really nice as well. And uh, Fountain Pen Revolution has a nice red called Firecracker. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, I'm a couple of cups. Yeah, just a couple. Mm -hmm. Larry was once asked if he did drugs in the 60s. Uh, he said, of course, no. Can you imagine what that would be like if he had taken speed? Well, you know, my friends would say, this is true. I didn't do drugs, okay? Never have, never even was curious, believe it or not. So uh, a little story about that. So uh, I had some friends, uh, and they were going to blow a number there. And uh, so they were sitting down, and they said, don't give Larry any because he'll go berserk. So, yeah, so no, I don't, I don't do drugs. So there. I'm just naturally high. How's that? Yeah, I get high on life. Yep. Uh, Acrophobe says, Around the World in 80 Days looks right up my alley, and the pen of the same name looks great, too. I hadn't yep. seen that pen. It's pretty. Yep. A little bit on India real quick. Uh, on a serious note, uh, India right now is really suffering from the virus. It's really getting hit really hard. Uh, and, uh, if y'all can find a leak or anything you'd like to share, you know, send a donation if you can, 50 cents, a dollar, whatever you can, and, and, and help India out. Uh, I know, I heard through the grapevine that the U.S. sent some oxygen over there. I think that's what Heron told me from Magna Carta Fountain Pens. I guess, the uh, oxygen for the, uh, what do you call ventilators? Yes. Yeah. So I think that's what's going on with that. But uh, India could really use any kind of help anybody could give them. So, you know, I already gave some already. So uh, people in need, brothers and sisters, people in need. And that's what we're here for, to help one another, right? Got to share the love. Mm. Uh, Frank <coughs> says, I've got several friends in India who are either are sick or have family sick. And some friends have lost family members. Right. I, I, I have some friends over there, too, some pen pals. Uh, and one of them, I won't mention her name, but uh, took care of his mother for a long time. And here comes the virus and she's gone. So, but a lot of people have been, been passing from the virus. They got hit super hard. And they're so overcrowded right now as well. And Frank says, uh, some are resorting to getting oxygen on the black market. There's always people out there that want to make a buck, right? You know, that, I think that's what's wrong with our world today. It's all about the almighty dollar. You know, let's let's melt what we can instead of saying, you know what? We need to help these people. We need to help these brothers and sisters out. For real. I'm, I, that's just how I feel, helping people out. I remember getting an email last year um, that this guy was selling online or trying to sell online masks that were pre-medicated to keep you from getting sick. So, yeah, they'll try anything. And, you know, uh, was it, last year I made a whole bunch of uh, bottles of uh, hand sanitizers and gave those out, passed those out. And I think I have a whole bunch of sanitizers left that uh, to give out. 
if we get another hit, which I hope we don't. I was, I'm expecting a package from Matthew Carter from India and Aaron, that's the owner, just contacted me today and told me that he mailed it a while back and he's been tracking it and the post office said they have lost it. So he's got to resend everything again. And Magna Carta is one of my all-time favorite fountain pens. I love that ebonite feed in those pens. Wow. So if you buy one, you need to make sure it has an ebonite feed. Uh, I think he said all of his pens or the majority of his pens come with ebonite feed and the rest are plastic feeds. And those aren't bad as well. Those are pretty decent. Okay, Aquafo, glad to have you here, and we will see you next time. Peace and love, Aqua! So, all right, Aquaman was on. Very cool. So, Frank, how's your finger doing that you butchered and cut? <laughs> Being Mr. Chef Borardee, okay? Yes, our friend Frank experienced the wrong end of a kitchen knife recently. Yeah, bless his little heart. Let me give him a little. <laughs> All right. Much better, he says. Good. Good, Franco. Yes, yeah. Well, let's see. This morning I was at Starbucks at 5.15. And tomorrow I'll be at Starbucks, hopefully at 5.15. Having my precious vanilla latte. I, you know, that's the only way I can start my day. So, got to have that stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess that's going to be the feedback I'll give to John. Pricey over price. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yep. Well, folks, anybody buy any pens? Talk to me. Pens, inks, what? You name it. Lock B, while we're at it, Lock B Journal has come out with a new uh, calendar uh, for your Lock B notebooks as well. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully, I'll get one in here in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's a calendar slash, oh, something else. I forgot. So, that's going to be cool. And while we're on here, you know, I was looking at some uh, pin cases. And Visconti has some really nice, beautiful pin cases for only $279. I think $79. So, here's one from... Fountain Pin Revolution. I'm not Fountain Pin Revolution. Uh, from Pin Boutique called the Yak. And right here you'll see the little the Yak. And I've done a review on this, and I I've had pins in there and I've carried it. Really well made. This sells for 79 bucks at Pin Boutique. Really sweet. I think it holds 10 pins as well. Does anybody ever shop at Pin Boutique? Does anybody, what do we have? Yeah, you know. Yakety yak, don't tom, top, top, back. How's that? Frank just wrote that too. I know. Yakety yak, don't come back. Oh, Franco. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Franco. So, well, nobody has much to say then, I guess, right? Pretty quiet then. Talk about, anybody want to talk about pens? Do it now. Ink, do it now. 
journals do it now paper do it now mont blanc mm. yo right on hey manny hello to you uh and congratulations on your new ef mont blanc 149. rock on right he, he says your videos helped me make that decision right and i just got a, a new 149 on top of the other two 149s i have but this one is a broad nib and then god willing i'm going to get a double broad nib as well and you know many like in my review what led me to that 149 was that 159 the jinhao 159. i love that size the weight of it so I, that's what made me go to that 149. and his has platinum trim as well okay yeah i have a platinum trim i have a gold trim and now i and i have rose gold trim and i really dig that rose gold trim right now on ebay there they have uh they're selling a mont blanc 149 I think one of the first series that came out, uh, and it's an old, let me get this right, oblique double broad nib. Okay, so, uh, of course, I've got that taste in my mouth, and me and another person have been battling out, and uh, it's starting to get a really bit pricey up there, so I had to kind of like, stop i'm sure that that pin's going to hit six to eight nine manny says love everything you do for the pen community and your guys enthusiasm is amazing thank you well thank you manny for being a subscriber and checking this out and your support yeah so What else? Did I get anything else in? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Here is a pin boutique pin case. This is the 24 pin case. I'll show you that with the double zipper. I already did the review on this one as well. Bam and bam. Does that one have the Velcro removal thing yeah, too? Yeah. Sure does. Yep. And just if, if you decide to buy anything for Pin Boutique, let them let them know you heard it from Larry, Larry's Fountain Pen. All right. So, anything else going on, folks? Say it now. Oh, the Dallas Pin Show is coming up in September, and they have other pin shows that's going to be coming up as well. I just don't know uh, how many people are going to be allowed in. With masks, without social distancing, I don't know anything like that yet. Uh, Manny says maybe someone has asked this and they haven't. Uh, what's your EDC pin nowadays? Whew. That yeah, that is a hard question. So I, I I'm thinking it's it's a toss up now between the. Mont Blanc 149 and the Visconti uh, Crystal Dream. And Manny has a, uh, he's using a Parker 51. Uh, I love, okay, Parker 51 to die for. To die for. One of the top notch pins. Love Parker 51. Got him in my pin case. Hello to Penny in the Vault who asks Does anyone know when the new Perkins Golden Ink is coming out? No. Do you have any per Perkins? Ink? No. In I fact, I've never even heard of Perkins. Where's that ink made of?
Okay, Frank. Bye and take care. Bye, Frank. Take care, bud. Tell Kara hi. Bye. Oh, Pelican, not not Perkins. Pelican. Oh, no, I haven't got any new Pelican ink in yet. So, but you're saying it's gold colored? Golden ink. I need to check that out. See if Pimpo Peak has it. The Pelican golden ink. That would be something to uh, check out. She, I assume you're she. She says yes. Okay. Does anybody on here buy from Pin Boutique or, or ever bought from them before? Okay. Um, okay, we'll have a question here from Idan in just a second. Uh, Penny, are you talking about the Pelican Idlestein Ink of the Year Golden Barrel? That's is that first, it? Well, I don't know. That's the first one that came up in my reference list here. So we'll see about that. Uh, I Dan asks, uh, oh, okay. Penny, li Penny lives 20 minutes away from Penn Boutique. Oh, okay. So, uh, yes, she goes there, I bet. Hmm. Uh, I Dan asks, uh, what do you think of the Pilot 743SF? Love the nib. Super love it. That's just my opinion. In fact, I just cleaned it out, and I have it in the bedroom right now. So, Penny, did you go get it from uh, Pin Boutique by chance? Oh, there's another one on. Okay, Manny asks, in your guys' opinion, what's your favorite? permanent black ink he likes the noodler's polar black uh with its bulletproofness and its lubricating characteristics so a black permanent ink noodler's black is a good one uh i don't let's see mont blanc permanent black is a nice one uh it would be a toss-up I have quite a few black inks that are not permanent, but I do like, like, you know, Cross or Parker, uh, Diamine, uh, Aurora, and uh, I don't have any PR black ink. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing on that uh, do barrel, do the golden barrel ink. I'm seeing it on a lot of the dealer's sites, but it's like we're all selling out of stock. So I assume that they're going to be reordered. I don't even know. That, I didn't even hear they came out with it. Uh, let's see. Okay. I, Dan, I'm not sure about your question here. What is the most suitable ink for him? I don't know who him you're referring to. Manny's going to check out Pin Boutique. Uh, Paul likes the... Uh, Noodler's Heart of Darkness. That's a good one. Very good choice. Yes. Penny says Pen Boutique staff are number one. Yes. Let them know you heard it from Larry's Fountain Pen, Lima. Lena. Lena. Yeah, yeah. And something I've always been curious about, uh, if you happen to know, uh, do they call it Pen Boutique or Boutique? Okay. I've heard it both ways. Girl, I just heard it both keep. So all those who just got on that don't know yet, I'm doing a gift certificate giveaway from Pin Boutique. I purchased a $50 gift certificate. As soon as you see the Pin Boutique pin case review that's going to come out tomorrow sometime, you want to go to my Gmail email address and just put your name and put enter. So we can have that drawing, and then after the winner is chosen, I'll contact Pin Boutique and let them know the winner's name and email address. So that way they can email you, the, whoever the winner is going to be, 
and you can order whatever you want because you'll have 50 bucks to play with. Okay, what is the most suitable ink for the Pilot uh, 743 soft fine pen, priority for black? Black ink? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, uh, you know, I, I, I do like the Mont Blanc black myself. Uh, and that's probably, well, that's what I just finished using. Uh, but I, you know, not a permanent black, but I use cross black as well. When you get too many inks, then it's kind of hard to pick which one to use. At least for me, it is. All right, moving on here. So, Penny, question. Do you go to a pen boutique a lot? Uh, Mandy says, you mentioned Visconti a little while ago. What do you think of their uh, quality control nowadays? Well, I have quite a few of their mm. new nibs, in-house made. And for me, I, I'm loving it. They, they, they've got some great in-house nibs. Uh, I, I, I can't say anything negative about it, man. It's just like uh, they're just uh, really awesome nibs. I mean, it's just like... Totally, totally awesome. Just, I mean, totally, totally awesome nibs. And I've got more in there, but uh, you got the picture right. So really sweet pens for sure. I love the nibs on them. Can't complain. I haven't had any any problems with the uh, new inside uh, nibs that are made by this now. And Penny goes there uh, to Pen Boutique every Saturday. Wow. That's, that'll keep you broke. She says, my kids' college fund gets spent there. That's what they get for growing up. <laughs> wow. Okay. And Manny says, the Visconti clip is bad, you know what, too. So I love that. The Visconti clip, is that the one that's shaped like yeah, the, the bridge? bridge? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the clip. Anybody else have a question? Are we sleeping out there? Ah, what's your current Grail pen? Ah. Uh, ah. Mm, uh, I'm going to have to go. Wow. Toss up between 149 Visconti. It's up and down, up and down, and 149 is going to take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm sorry if, about the name. I'm, I'm just not one I've run across before. Idan, or is it Edan or something? Uh, what's the most surprising impression you've got recently from a fountain pen performance? Say again. Well. Uh, from a fountain pen recently that you used uh, uh, an, a surprising impression, one that you thought, okay. what, what's it going to do is it actually did. All right. And that's easy right there. Uh, the Magna Carta fountain pen blew me 
away. Their pens are magnificent. They're affordable. They're beautiful. They're stunning. And the nibs to die for. The feed is to die for. They now come with every night feed. Mostly all of them do. So if you ever buy one, you need to make sure it has the every night feed. I speak with Heron, the owner of Magna Carta. And uh, so, yeah, we talked about that. And uh, every night feed has been put in the majority of the pens. But they're beautiful. And they write really well. That's just my opinion. Okay, uh, Edan, I will try to remember that, although the kids in my classroom will tell you that I am horrible on names. So I am worse. That's why I let him <laughs> pronounce the name. I, I, I couldn't do it. You're welcome. Uh, you were pretty impressed with that last... Uh, pen that I got, the Egyptian hieroglyphic pen. I said it turned out really well. Yeah, we're going to do this one uh, yeah, that one's tomorrow. The brother to yeah, it. this is the brother, I guess, to it. Uh, another Egyptian one. What is it? Full wing? Full? It's a full one, yes. yeah. And I love uh, the full wing pens, really. That's, that's a nice line of pens. Uh, I, I do like their nibs as well. They're, they're a really a great pen. One of my favorite, another one of my favorite, of course, is the Delta Federico. Love that pen. This has a 14K gold nib. They don't make them anymore, but a sweet pen, sweet pen. And, of course, does anybody recognize this lovely pen? With my initials on it, yes. So, Forgot I had initial. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Manny asks, just out of curiosity, how did you and Mr. Announcer make each other's acquaintance? And does he love uh, eat the pins as much as you do? Well, uh, I lived in Fort Worth previously back in the late 80s, and we had some mutual friends, uh, ended up getting in contact with each other. Then I moved away, then I moved back, and we made contact again and have been uh, friends ever since. Uh, as for loving pins, no, they haven't hit me quite as much. I do collect them, but not near to the extent that he does. And I pretty much just like the way they look. Uh, I really don't like with them. Okay, Penny uh, asks, why ebonite feeds? Get a wetter nib. Hey, John, Mont Blanc Rock, you got it. That is JFK, Mont Blanc. And there is Mr. Uh, Will and uh, Frank from Federalist. Hey, and Frank from Federalist. Where in the heck you been, Frankie? I'm going to tell Marky on you. <laughs> John says, uh, hello, Larry. I hope you're doing well. Today was my last day of school. It feels good to be off for the summer. Yeah. Mr. Announcer was what, Friday of last week? Yes, Friday of last week. I'm off every day. Mm -hmm. Way off. Way off. Okay. Hi, Federalist Pins. Yep. Hey, y'all. Frank from Federalist Pins on here. Everybody say hi to Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. If you need a pen, he's got them. Need some ink? He's got them. You need paper? He's got them. Journals? He's got He's got so much stuff. Everybody's quiet. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Frank will be, don't you have a pen show coming up this month, Frank, on Federalist Pens? Okay, Manny, good to have you, and take care and be safe. Peace out, Manny. John says, hybrid teaching was difficult. I've never felt so drained in my 29 years of teaching. Yes, this was a weird year for uh, us teachers. Uh, I would... <laughs> Well, okay. Oh, uh, 
I'm going to have to go with a little, do a little sidestep. For that kind, I would have to get my Magna Carta fountain pen for that one. Well, that would be a nice history touch. Yeah. Since the Magna Carta was yeah. a signed yeah. document. Yeah, yeah. That would be perfect, I think. Just ho hopefully you don't pick an ink color that is some sort of cultural taboo for them. That would be interesting. Yeah. And by the way, you know, Frank from Federalist Pens, he does sell Magna Carta. Yeah. So if you want that Ebonite feed, if you buy one from Frank, make sure you ask Frank, mm -hmm. does, that, does that one come with the Ebonite feed? Most of them do, but some of them don't. Mm -hmm. Frank, where's little Marky at? And what I'm saying is I always tease Frank. His brother, his little brother's name Mark. Always called him Marky. Great little guy. Well, he's not little, but you know, he's a little younger than Frank. At his place. All right. So, Frank. When's your first pin show coming up, Frank? <laughs> oh, John gave uh, fountain pens to students. What what kind did you give out? Frank is in Raleigh next week. Okay. Okay. Pelican Twists is the pen he gave out. All right. What did the kids think of it, John? Cool. Uh, just curious, what grade uh, are they in that you gave them to? Ooh, fourth and okay, uh, yeah, I think that fourth and fifth would be okay. Mine are seventh. They'd probably find a way to squirt the ink at each other all the time. Well, for those of you that just come on, I'll repeat myself again that you know we uh, Mr. Nancer just got the software downloaded and, and tested it earlier, so uh, we didn't know we were going to do a stream now we just did it with no advance warning because you know how i am spontaneously let's just get on there and do it and uh i'm glad i did it you know a nice little test run to get everybody going and stuff and you know just to have some fun and, and bond together because you can't go wrong with a live stream right uh let's see and uh does it post just came on how welcome uh we uh, went live mostly because I finally got this live stream software to work. It's been a year uh, trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. But uh, so we are here and we are doing a, just a reunion test run or something like that. Uh, and he will be doing these somewhat regularly. It'll be announced most likely. Uh, Edan says, have you ever given a pen as a sign of respect? to someone you value? If not yet, who would you give it to? Yeah, I have done that. I've given a... You've given a lot yeah, of it, really. I, yeah, yeah, that's common for me. Yep.
But that answered the question. I, I assume so. It okay. hasn't said yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess everybody fell asleep. <laughs> well, we've got 19 on. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, John says, chances are we will all be back in person for school in August. Uh, yeah, I know that my school will be, uh, we went, we only had about, oh, 10% of uh, so the students were at home by the end of the year. When did you go back to school? Uh, somewhere around August 18th, I think. God, that seems like I'm on the corner already. I know. Wow. Let's see. Uh, John says the infection rates are low in California. Yeah, here in our county, it, it has really dropped off from what it had been. Yeah, I think it was like update today for Friday was 68, I believe, or less. And we have been hitting up into 500 for a while. Uh, Drad says, and welcome to Drad, you look Mikey. Thank you. And Frank popped in with a use paper. Yeah, that is some awesome paper. If you hadn't got it, any of that paper yet you need to really stack up on it because i have it right here and you'll see on my reviews i use this a lot good stuff it really is good it paper, really yes. is good stuff i'm not just shooting the breeze with you but uh, uh you know i want to get the tablet next as well check that out but this one and the uh little pocket size ones are really good good paper i think Okay, does it post is from Canada where they're still out at a stay in home situation? Just added another two weeks today. Australia back on lockdown where uh, Norm Morris is. Uh, was talking to me today, they're back on lockdown again because of the virus. Totally locked down. And Canada is uh, slow about getting the vaccines ready. Frank is going to the Miami Pin Show. Hello, Ink Guy. How are you doing? Ink Guy, how's it been going, my man? All right. <laughs> Frank says to, uh, sorry, John says to Frank, I should buy something from your company to celebrate completing 29 years of teaching. 29 years. <laughs> How much longer do you have to go, John? And the ink guy has one more week of school. What grade do you teach, ink guy? John is sending prayers to Canada. Don't let the Democrats hear you say that. Okay, Ink God gave an abbreviation, which I'm not entirely sure about. High school something. Math. Math, maybe. Now, Frank, he taught, I believe, history, I believe. <laughs> 
10 more years for John or a lucky lottery ticket. You know, I think I've got about five years or six years left. Math, yes. <laughs> Any more questions or comments from anybody? We're fixing to close it down. <laughs> uh, thank you. Does it post likes the dash cam stuff? Yeah, that, that one where the guy ran the red light recently, that one was uh, heart stopping for me. John was looking to go 40 years? 40 years of teaching, yeah, but the, the pandemic has changed the plans. John, do you want me to send you my walker or a cane or anything? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Before I go, I just want to ask this question again. Uh, I did the uh, pin review on the moonwalk pin made by John Hubbard Jr. And uh, we were talking earlier today, and he was just wondering people's honest uh, input, what they thought of it. Uh, when I did the review, uh, the pin was really cool. I couldn't find, for me, any problem that was wrong with it. Uh, I did ask John, you know, about a clip, but he said a clip wouldn't look good on it. And, you know, I prefer a twist on cap, but that's just a push on cap. But that's cool. But it really is a good looking pin. And uh, so that's why I'm asking people on right now to, to send me your honest opinion about if you saw the review about the pin. And so far, the majority are saying it's a little too high or overpriced. But that's that 3D pin that he made. And it took a, a team of folks to create the whole pin. Yeah. Uh, John said, I might need it if I go 40 years. Yes. Now, a bottle of bourbon, yeah. I, I can do that for you. But you better not wait that long because I might be gone by the time mm -hmm. that gets here. I'll be like this, brother. Mm -hmm. All stiff and everything. And Mr. Frank be back there laughing him and Marky. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, my friends. I am going to hang it up. And I'm going to end this. So, hey, thanks for joining me today. Y'all have been colossal. So, hasta la vida, amigos. Ya te miro ese. Take care. And...